Huh? I wanted to know if it was oh, possible to get um, criticism or something on my. Oh, yeah, sure. But this is. Okay, this is what I'm more currently working on. Oh, nice. Awesome, I like the purple shade in there. It was the colors I have. Nice. You mind if I flip through it? Um, there are specific ones. Oh, okay. It's like I have the weird. Uh, the, where I'm just an on-block at the moment. There's a couple other things that she's actually drawn for me nice. and her mom's the painting in the back. Oh, nice. Yeah, let me be careful with this. Yeah, mom Very said she'd cool. kill me if the painting got something <laughs> happened to it, so. Oh, oh awesome. Her mom Jack's is huge into uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Skellington. And, and Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah my mom did. <laughs> there both was of my, my art teacher and my mom had something yep. else mm -hmm. with it. So. Oh, and you got He-Man here. Yeah, yeah I'm yes. huge in the He-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers. Wait, I actually got the He-Man tattoo oh, sleeve. That's starting awesome. starting to happen. You did some Bende Dot in the background. Oh, yep. Yep. Miles Morales one, that's cool. Yeah, I had to add so, the, the um, textures. So, is that too? Oh, nice. Stuff I'm proud of. Um, the posing and stuff um, I wanted to get it just, mm -hmm. uh, criticism on. Okay, do you mind if I take a look real quick? Yeah, just the whole page <laughs> and stuff. It's from a like, fandom I met. Oh, nice. So, like, when it comes to, you know, drawing and everything in dynamics, you know, when you're drawing anybody, you know, using a bow and arrow and everything. My sister used to do archery, and so when you're pulling a bow, you know, your your arm's gonna kind of be up here, and you're gonna be looking down that. So when you're looking at any reference or anything, so the next time you draw somebody, you know, doing anything, you kind of want to look at life, and you want to look and see like how does somebody actually do that. And then the more you kind of learn from that, then you're gonna kind of be able to draw that more naturally. And so. And then one of the other things I would say is um, when you're drawing, um, I can see you kind of got, you know, little scratches and that's part of, you know, building confidence with your lines is being able to throw lines and being able like, to have like, flow. I like my, my favorite things in lines is mm -hmm. like when it's changed, like some lines are like it's thicker and then they're like this Yeah, yep, and yep, the thick to thin. So. I saw stuff and apparently that gives it like more uh, uh, mm -hmm. life to the drawing. Yeah, so... But what, like I'm using a pen. So mm -hmm. like. Well, even with pens. So when you're when you're drawing, um, take a separate sheet of paper and practice just taking your pen or whatever you're using and just try to throw a line and then just try to keep hitting that same line because that's a part of when you're inking things. So if you're using pen, you're you know you're gonna ink. That's gonna be the final thing of the drawing. So if you look at different things like if you look at some of the lines and such. I'm trying to throw one line to make sure that makes the consistent, you know, figure. How many times do you have to do like the same line over and over again? Um, if it's digital, sometimes I'll throw it a lot till I get it right. But if you're doing it traditionally, it kind of forces you to be more confident in when you're throwing that line. And so, you know, that's why when you're drawing, you want to make sure that you have your little separate sheet of paper to kind of practice throwing that line on and, and practice. Yeah, I have a whole nightstand. The top drawer yeah. is just sketchbooks <laughs> and paper, and the bottom is just me. Yeah. yeah. So, like, and then with the hair, you want to make sure that you want your hair to have flow and everything. So it feels like the direction so you have that with your with the yeah. the coat but you want to make sure you have that same thing with the hair so we feel like that direction you want to make sure it flows yeah because i wanted to make it this this person's going that way this person's going that way mm -hmm. and i'm i'm not really the best at dimensions and stuff i just usually draw profiles and all that but well, the that, more you're practicing yeah. the more you're mm -hmm. going to get it done that's yeah. why yeah the more you do it the easier it's going to become so like as you're going to you know draw more cylinders and drawing and building the figure and such you want to make sure that you're just if you want to get better at drawing legs draw tons of legs if you want to get better at drawing a full body just draw like have a whole page of just my bodies my favorite thing to draw is hands mm -hmm. oh yeah of course is there a joke about there's one spider-man artist hands, that couldn't draw hands um it was uh, more that uh it was rob liefeld and it was he couldn't draw feet thank you <laughs>
Okay, one yeah, side is English class. <laughs> one side is English class mm -hmm. notes. This is hands. Oh, those are great. I really like. I really like this one. You're kind of paying attention to how the fingers are and everything. Yeah, I basically put my hand up. That one. Um, I'm not the best at knowing like mm -hmm. just um, the different fingers from a side, more side point of view. So and when I try to look, I more try to look at it, but it yeah, exactly. But you know, a lot of the time it doesn't turn out how you want it. Yeah, that's, you know, again, it's just a lot of practice, and so when you're drawing any kind of hands and such, like I said, when you're going to start practicing your, your lines and everything, try instead of going over and going, because that's what's called chicken scratching. It's a little term that uh, like, most like, artists like have. Sketching, sketching. So, so when you're sketching, you can kind of focus on doing, like, quick lines, quick, quick decisions. So that way, if you're looking at your hand, you're just drawing all those things that quickly make up the hand. If you only had a minute to draw it, you would try what's, it's about what you're gonna put down yeah. and what's the most important in your eyes. And so like when you're doing life drawing or anything like that, you're gonna be practicing just getting down those little key bits of information and such. But, but yeah, so when you're drawing these, just you know, fill up a page, hundreds of hands. Hundreds yeah. of, you know, hundreds of faces and I've such. I've seen um, people do, like, they'll show their sketchbooks and stuff on YouTube videos, and mm -hmm. they just, like, did hundreds of, like, the same thing, but... Repetition, repetition, yep, repetition. Yep, yep, it's just like, you know, spelling a word or anything like that. The more you do it, the like easier it's going to be. Spelling test. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. Which which ones um, were you? I'm going to get this one for sure. Oh, awesome. I'm going to get the... This one, I have the first two... Um, I have the first two comics of Miss oh, Marvel. Oh, nice. Did you guys watch the show? Uh, no, I haven't watched the show yet. Because uh, I'm kind of scared uh, it won't be like the comics. My nine-year-old has, though. Actually, you'll play that gentleman. Like, the yeah, I know what you mean. See, like, so... There were some things from the first Harry Potter book and the first, last, the movie mm -hmm. that were kind of bugged me. Sit down, so maybe hopefully I don't know the Yeah, I know what you mean. So... Since I got to work on Miss Marvel in the comics, I know it's like I understand and want the character to be uh, consistent. So, but with um, the Percy Jackson movie, I heard the author was really upset with the way the movie turned out itself, and they sent like yeah. a really email. <laughs> <laughs> well, with with Miss Marvel, the show, I think that her core as a the character. I think is is really well held up in in the show. She's very much the fangirl character. She is she's really funny in the show, and so I think it's worth checking out. Even though her powers are not, you know, spoiler alert, her powers are not quite the same. They do mimic a lot of the same principal stuff in it. Oh, you know, getting to share knowledge that, you know, I've picked up from a lot of the artists that inspired me and remembering the first time I met a professional comic book artist or, you know, getting to even go to a signing where people were, you know, doing this kind of thing. I just think back to that and I think back to, you know, how, you know, I felt when when I first got to, to meet uh, one of the artists that I know, Phil Hester, uh, and he's from Iowa as well, and so when we met him, uh, that was like a whole like, oh man, this is what I want to do, and we would look through his portfolio that he had there, and he had his pages and everything there to, I think he had some for sale and everything, but it was really cool to actually like see the physical comic book pages, and so that was uh, a really uh, unique experience, and I think that getting to do that now and, and getting to show off some of the stuff even though I don't have my traditional portfolio here with me um, getting to still share that kind of experience with you know new kids who are getting into this now I think that's super special.